Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to update and find your Windows Experience Score. It's easy to do and it has two advantages. One, you can quickly brag to your friends how high your computer scores. You're going to get a 1.0 to a 9.9. .9. And two, when you find a lower score, you can find a problem or a bottleneck in your computer, which is great for gamers. Uh, if you're doing a lot of multimedia, let me show you quickly what we're going to do. We're going to first clean everything out. I don't know that you need to. I just like to. I like to delete stuff. So we're going to copy this line right here. So just drag your mouse across. Right click, copy. Open up File Explorer. Click over here in a blank area. And press Control V to paste and press Enter. Here are all your scores. Click Control A so that everything is highlighted. So don't delete the wrong thing. And press the Delete key. There you go. Now those are gone. Let's have some fun. What we're going to do first is we're going to want to update the experience, especially if you've not run it in a long time, if you've changed hardware. So copy again, WinSat Formal, unless you feel like typing it out. That's cool. Now, if you're on Windows 10, we have to open the command prompt, not PowerShell for this one. So if you're on Windows 10, you've got to go start. Let's see. It's down here somewhere. Look at me. Windows System command prompt paste that line in hit enter and now we're going to kick back and wait as you can see it's going to take a few minutes it depends on your computer you might actually hear your hard drive churning away that's okay just sit around and wait when it's done I believe the window will close right let's see yep it'll close when it's completed so once that's done we'll be able to actually run the Windows experience we can run that right from PowerShell this time which is easy enough to do so we'll give this just a minute here and hopefully that's done in the meantime what we'll do is we'll get PowerShell ready and we'll do that by pressing the Windows key plus X and you can run PowerShell we won't need it as admin and once again see everything's kinda of jerking around while this is going we're gonna come down here and copy and paste this code as soon as it's done and we'll get our score as you can see I did pretty good I have a 9 overall score 81 direct 3d score disk score graphics memory these are the big ones you're gonna look at while we're waiting for this I'll just skip right to this while that's running and we'll cover this so let's say I think if you're a gamer and opinions might vary you should be hitting at least a 7 so you could easily sit around and say, okay, my CPU score is a 7, then maybe you've got an outdated processor. Your disk score is a 7. Do you have an SSD drive? You really want one if you don't. Graphic score, that's your video card. You want to be high up on that. Those are These are all big things for gamers and power users. So your graphic score, 8.9, that's pretty good. Memory score is a 9. Sounds like it stopped. Yep. So... That just gives you the general idea as where your bottlenecks might be. So keep that in mind. And now, let's do what we were talking about. Copy and paste this, and let's get our score. And it's fast. And there's my score. 99981. I'm happy with all those numbers. A little surprised that my disc score isn't like an 11. But, you know, what are you going to do? Channeling a little spinal tap there. And that's about it. Of course, obviously... It's a very basic Windows included way of just checking for stuff, but it works good. So now if you want to get at your score later, you can get more details. I'm not a fan. Once again, start, run, type in P-E-R-F-M-O-N. You really got to dig. So I think you're in, um, where did I show it here? Look at you got to do expand uh, reports. System, system diagnostics, your computer name. It. You get over here, and there's the same thing. You're just looking at it at the DOS window anyway. And you can open the file. We can do this again by clicking. And we're going to open up File Explorer again. Once again, click in the clear area. Control V. And that's exactly where we were before. And what you're looking for is the one named formal dot assessment recent do, 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 do. right there and open that up that'll open up in browser oh I should try Microsoft Edge Ooh. 
And there you go. Again, it's pretty much the same thing, but it's a way you could export it if you wanted to. And it has a little bit more information for the nerd in you. Cool. There you go. Good bit of system information. And so on and so forth. There you go. So there's a couple different ways to look at all your information. Hopefully we helped you out. Make sure you delete everything. Run a new assessment before you do it, so you make sure you get it the way you want it. Hey, thanks for watching. Click like, click subscribe. Don't. We'd really like it if you did. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.